Guys, Amanda's not even in prep right now. And I just Why opened I up, that? I opened up the microwave and look what's sitting in there. Stevia. <laughs> Amanda, explain yourself. I don't have an explanation. What's up YouTube? So I am back in California. It feels so good to be back. I hope all of you had a super blessed and amazing Christmas. I did not vlog much while I was in Chicago. I had planned to, however, after doing Vlogmas and daily uploads, once I got home, I just had this overwhelming feeling inside my heart that I just really needed to set the camera down and just be in the moment with my family and I listened to my heart and that's exactly what I did. I hope that you guys will understand where I'm coming from. I am a firm believer in just always listening to what your heart tells you and that is exactly what I did. I enjoyed a really nice few days back home in Chicago with my family and just being in the moment and it was amazing. But it feels really good to be back and it feels really, really good to be back in front of the camera and talking to you guys. I think it's important to always evaluate where your head and where your heart is at so that you can keep your passion alive and that's exactly where I'm at at this present time. My passion is alive, my fire is lit, and I have some news to share with you guys. I am so excited. It is day two of prep for my 2017 season. Those of you who have been following me probably know that I have been in and off season since about September. So I took about six months off or so to really just give my body and my mind a rest. And I have got to say that I have never felt so ready and so excited to start prep than I feel right now. My head is in it, my heart is 100% in it, and I feel incredibly confident that if it's in God's will, I will be on the 2017 Olympia stage this year. And I came home to California with something in the mail, so let me show you guys what I got. This right here is my 2017 IFBB Pro Card. This is what allows me to compete in the IFBB this season and do all the IFBB professional shows. I also have two competition contracts right here for two of the shows that I intend on doing this season. First one, and this will more than likely be my first show of the season, is the 2017 Muscle Contest Pro. That is on March 11th. I also requested one for the Salt City Showdown in Salt Lake City. So if any of you guys are, live in Salt Lake City, it is at the FitCon in Salt Lake that weekend. So if any of you plan on being there, I hope to see you. This one is on April 22nd. I'm still waiting to hear back to see if I've been invited to the Arnold Classic Australia. I'm super hopeful. So if I get invited back this year, uh, I believe that is the weekend right after the March 11th show here in LA. So that would be kind of the plan and the course of action. So I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice. I am so freaking excited for this season. Uh, my fire is lit and I'm just super motivated. My mind's in the right place. My body's feeling good. I'm feeling strong. I can't thank you guys enough for all of your positivity. Everything that you bring to my channel is what keeps me going and it honestly keeps me so motivated. I love interacting with you guys. It means the world to me. So. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your support. You guys, it seriously means the world to me. And I am so excited for you guys to join me on this prep. It's gonna be amazing. So this starts day one, vlog number one of my bikini prep series. And I'm going to be calling this series Stronger Now. I wanna kind of explain to you what that means to me. Stronger Now, it really is a personal testament of overcoming challenges, overcoming adversities, overcoming inevitable setbacks and being stronger now because of them. Today, in this present moment, I am stronger now than I was yesterday, and I am not nearly as strong as I'm going to be tomorrow and the day after that. Stronger now, to me, truly just means never-ending self-improvement in whatever you do in life. I feel like if we're constantly striving to be the best versions of ourselves, whatever that means to you, we will always end up being stronger now than we were yesterday. Welcome to episode number one of my bikini prep series for my 2017 season, Stronger Now. I look forward to taking you guys along with me through everything, through the highs, through the lows, through the inevitable hunger pains. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be such a fun journey together. And I can't wait to take you guys along with me through this prep. So on that note, I am headed out for leg day.
I hope that you guys enjoyed the rest of this workout footage. I did want to mention two things that you won't see in the video. Uh, I did start my workout with some leg extensions, four sets. I started with reps of 20, then I increased the weight for sets two and three for reps of 15, and increased the weight one more time for a fourth set of 10. I finished my workout with a burnout of banded crab walks. So if you guys have not tried those yet, definitely do them. They are a glute burner. I hope that you guys find the workouts that I put in my videos beneficial and that you get good ideas from them. And if you guys have any feedback or anything else that you would like to see, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for being here. Remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Love you guys. Back home and finally reunited with Amanda and I gave her her Christmas present this morning and so decided this is a Christmas present. It's a beautiful purse. And she got it for me because this was my other option. I've had this since for like there's holes in it. Like it's just like how many years have you had that purse? Like seven. I just I just don't think of buying myself a purse because I don't like. I told her that uh, I was surprised things hadn't started falling out of the bottom of it. So thank you, Karen. You're welcome. <laughs> Best gift ever. Can we keep our tree up until the new year? Yeah. Who else is here? Hi. Hi, Em. Just heard a ring at the door, and it is my bite meals. Two huge boxes. Going to be fully stocked for prep. I've already started putting some of them away. Got a whole other box over here and I just wanna show you guys some of the things that I ordered. I get a lot of questions about what my favorite bite meals are, what you guys should order. So you've definitely seen me eat this one before. This is the two pancakes, egg whites, and turkey sausage or chicken bacon. I love them both. Also really excited to try out these new red velvet protein pancakes. The macros for these are really good too. Only three fat, 31 carb, and then 32 whole grams of protein. So that is awesome and it comes with this delicious looking little sauce. So I might have that for breakfast, that looks so good. And as far as the sweet treats go, I absolutely love these Bite 5 cookies. They're such a great alternative when you're having a sweet tooth. The macros are absolutely insane. Only 96 calories and they're only made with five ingredients, so that's what I love about it. It's not packed with a bunch of like artificial crap. It's literally just dates, gluten-free oats, pea protein isolate, banana, and peanuts, and that is it. So you know you're not putting junk inside your body and I love that especially while I'm in prep. A lot of times when we're dieting we get hooked on artificials and they're just generally not good for our bodies. I will definitely still be eating these and the peanut butter blondies throughout the entirety of my prep. They're very macro friendly. That's a must have if you do order bite meals. Okay so what I do in addition to ordering some of the custom meals like I just showed you I order my chicken and other proteins by the pound. This makes it so easy for me to do quick meals on the go um, and make sure that I'm always prepared and hitting my protein goal for the day. As you guys know, I love doing big salads and things like that, so I already have my protein already prepared. I also got a pound of tilapia and a pound of steak. Good healthy fats in there too. I want to end today's vlog with part of an entry that I read in today's devotional and whether you're a believer or not, I think that we can all take something from a message about overcoming fear. Uh, just the title alone, two powerful words for your life, fear not. The part that I really wanted to share with you guys is in paragraph number two and I'll go ahead and read it to you. It says, often the fear of something is worse than the thing itself. If we will be courageous and determined to do whatever it is we fear, we will discover that it is not nearly 
as bad as we thought it would be. And I really just think that that's so true. Oftentimes, we let fear stop us from doing things that we ultimately have a passion for doing, when truly the fear is something that's scarier than actually the thing itself. And so I encourage you guys as we enter into 2017 and into this last week of 2017, just to really think about that and just be bigger than your fears and know that greatness and success and the reward often lies on the other side of fear. I encourage you to just reflect on this message and don't let fear stop you from pursuing the things that you're passionate about. That is going to wrap up episode one of my new bikini prep series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'm so excited to be on this journey with all of you watching and to share my entire 2017 prep with you guys. Please remember to subscribe if you have not already and hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Love you guys and I will catch you in episode two.